Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, I'm just hopping on here really quick. Um, typically, I like to film on my other phone. Don't like filming on my camera. Don't know why. I just don't trust her. <laughs> um, it's been a minute since I've made a video in my favorite spot in the house. Just, oh, it's just so peaceful here. So I just wanted to make a quick video and talk about this really quickly. And I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible because my phone literally always cuts out. Also, this, when this is like not cute right here, it bugs me. Okay. I wanted to talk to you about something. I wanted to make this video yesterday. And because, you know, I like making a video every day for you guys. Yesterday was crazy. The last couple days have been crazy. But I'm going to say this. I wonder if you're experiencing this too. The energy has been crazy. Life has been a little crazy. But when you know what hits the fan, it's a good indication that things are about to get really, really good. Hear me out. When you pray for something, you ask God or you pray to the universe or you're manifesting something and everything just goes like haywire crazy and you're you're doing your very best, your due diligence, everything like that. I'm not saying you're being lazy and things are, you know, just not working out. And you're like, it's not working out. I don't know why. Well, you know why. If you're not working, those things aren't going to happen. But you know what I mean? Like stuff is just going crazy right now. It's because what you're praying for is trying to come into your life. What you're manifesting is trying to come into your life. And we always say, oh God, I want things to change. And oh God, I want this. And oh God, I want this. And I'm manifesting this. And I'm manifesting that. I'm manifesting a new job. I'm manifesting a new financial situation. I'm manifesting a new relationship. I'm manifesting all these things. But then God tries to change your situation. And it might look crazy to you at first. It might look like it makes no sense. It might look like all these things. But it's really just God just trying to change the situation and give you what you're praying for. And the universe is trying to give you what you've been manifesting. And if it looks crazy, yeah, it's going to look messy. It's going to look crazy. Okay. Just like when people are building a house or remodeling a house, it looks crazy at first. It looks messy at first, but if you just give it time, the end result will be there and everything's going to be fine. You just have to trust the process. And another part of this message I wanted to tell you, I can't stop thinking about this. Like it has been on my mind literally, legitimately all day yesterday and all this morning. And I could not wait to tell you. And it's so simple. But we forget, we forget about this and we, we just don't think this. And peace is a requirement. Your peace is an absolute freaking requirement of life. It is essential if you're in a relationship right now where you don't have peace, if you're in a job right now where you don't have peace, if you're in a situation right now where you don't have peace, just remember one thing. And I say this lightly because I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what's going on in your life and I'm not I'm not making your situation lighter than it is. I'm sending love. But everything is a choice. Every single thing is a choice. One of those things is how you react to something. How you react to anything is also a choice. And if you say to yourself every single day, my peace is a requirement. I require peace to live my life. Just understand that a lot of that peace is coming from you. I know there's a lot of external things happening in your life right now because you're watching this video and it's resonating Things are going to look crazy. Things are going to look like it's not in alignment. Things are going to look not so peaceful. Things are going to feel not so peaceful. But I promise you that it's happening to put you in alignment. Put God is going to put you in situations maybe to humble you, to change the relationships you're in, to change the friendships you're in, to change the businesses and just everything. Think about anything in your life right now where things are looking a little crazy, a little hectic. It's all for a reason. God is doing it for a reason. And I know it's hard to say, this feels bad. This is scary. This is this and that. And I know it is. Trust me, I know it's scary and it makes no sense. But it's not going to look, it's not going to make sense looking forward. You're going to be like, uh, it's going to make, look, it's going to make sense looking backwards. Ugh. It's not going to make sense right away. Just like a puzzle. You're going to look at the pieces of the puzzle and look at like this thousand piece puzzle and be like, holy shit, this makes no freaking sense. It's not going to make sense yet. But there's a bigger picture. You just have to do one thing 
at a time, one piece at a time. And the piece at a time is literally, quite literally, your piece. And just understand that it's your choice to choose peace over any other emotion right now. Trust me when I tell you I want to pick many other emotions right now. But I keep telling myself that peace in my life is essential. My peace is essential. And no one can take my peace away. You can't. Because peace is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Everything is a choice. But especially those two things. And I hope that this video helps you and reminds you of, of just that. Because sometimes we think our peace is external. Our, our happiness is external. And it's not. It's really not. Your peace does not come from that relationship. Your peace does not come from that friend. Your peace does not come from that job. Your peace does not come from that money or that house or that car. Yes, is it fun? Yes, is it great? Yes, yes, yes. It's all great. But don't base your happiness and your peace off of anything. No people, place, or thing. Because you're going to be very disappointed. And I wonder if you're disappointed right now. And that's why you're on this video. But I promise you... The more you lean into yourself and the more you trust yourself and the more you realize that it's actually my choice how I how I feel today. It's not up to you how I feel. It's not up to anyone but me how I feel. I am you, not I, but say to yourself, I am divinely protected. I am created by the man, the thing that created this universe and I am protected and I am okay and I am safe and I am loved and I am perfect just the way that I am. And my peace and my happiness is not, has nothing to do with anything external. It could be raining or sunny, I'm happy and I have peace. Someone could be trying to disturb my peace and my happiness by being awful to me and bullying me. No, it's not going to work because my peace and my happiness comes from in here. I want you to say that to yourself. My peace and my happiness comes from me, not from you, not from that situation, not from that job, not from that relationship, not with the title that it comes with, not from any of it. Because I want to tell you something. God is going to humble you really fucking quick. And I learned that the hard way. God is going to humble you. If you think that your peace and your happiness comes from a relationship, have you ever been in a high school relationship and you're like, they break up with you and you're just distraught. Oh my God, I'm going to die. But did you die? No, you didn't. You survived. And that situation put you in all these beautiful lessons and you were able to take those lessons into your life and apply them wherever else you went. So put this situation that you're in right now in your bag and say, I got this in the bag for when I go through something else. And whenever something this week, today, next year, whatever is trying to bog you down, bring you down, steal your peace, steal your happiness, take it away, say, uh-uh, nice try. Nice try. That is the devil at work. Whatever you believe in at work, trying to bring you down because that's what's going on right now. It's either really, really good emotions or really, really low emotions, a high vibration or a low vibration. You can't have both. You cannot do both. You can't be a high vibe and a low vibe at the same time. You just cannot. It's your choice what you get to be every single day. And I hope that you I hope that you feel this so deep in your soul. You are like screaming and shouting and jumping right now because that's what I want to do. I've been tried so hard this past month, so hard this past couple days. And I keep saying to myself, my happiness is for me. It's my choice how I feel. My peace is my choice. Not you, not that piece of paper, not this circumstance. I'm not going to let anyone take away my peace and my happiness because it's my choice. People want to see you mad. People want to see you upset. People want to see you fail. People don't want to see you doing better than what you're doing because it makes them feel bad. People always ooh, want to criticize you when you're doing better. People always want to say, oh, well, what about this and that? That is silly and no thank you. People always want to come at you and be like, well, you're this, this, this. Wow, that's called projection, my friends. 
It's called projection. Don't let anybody bring you down. Remember that peace is a requirement of your life. And if anyone tries to bring you down, just keep saying to yourself, peace is a requirement for my life. It just is. Just like I need money to pay my bills. Just like you need money to pay your bills. Just like you need gas in your car to get from A to Z. Just like you need food in your body to fuel it. Just like the sun comes up every day and sets every night. Peace is a requirement. And every living thing on this earth knows that. Sounds a little woo-woo, but I'm looking at the plants outside right now. They are thriving. They are green. They are thriving. They're in their element. Hear me out. Hear me out. If there was bombs going on outside and chaos and there was no water and there was no sun and there was like bombs going off and there was fires on the plants and there was like all this crap going on. Does that sound peaceful? Absolutely not. I don't think my backyard would look that good if there is a war going on outside out there. It would probably look really bad. And if there was no water to water those plants, it would look terrible and awful, right? Just like our life. Just think of yourself and your soul and your inner self, whatever, as like a garden. I know that sounds crazy, but like, just think of it that way. You need sunlight. You need water. You need to be nourished. You need peace to thrive. Peace is a requirement. And do not let anybody take your peace away because they want to so badly right now. Misery loves company right now. Sorry. Sorry. In my world, I'm happy. I'm thriving. We're thriving here. We're thriving here. And I want you to be able to say the same thing to anyone trying to bring you down right now. Oh, you're stressed out. Oh, you're going through this. Oh, you're trying to drag me into your crap. No, I'm happy here. We're good here. We're good. I'm happy. I have everything I need. I have everything I want. I hope you say this. I have everything I want. I have everything I need. I'm provided for. I am safe. I am healthy. God willing, you're healthy. I have air in my lungs and we're good. And we're thriving. I just want to let you know, my video might cut me out soon because I my phone storage, I buy like the most amount of storage and it always cuts me off. It's always like storage too full. That's a lie. It's not full. So if I get cut off, we're just going to get cut off. It's fine. I want these videos to be real, raw, genuine, me and you having a conversation. And that's what this is going to be. Sometimes we're going to be in my office with the ring light and we're going to get all cute for it. And sometimes I'm just going to be in my jammies, drinking my coffee, telling you like, oh my God, I need to tell them right now. Like peace is a freaking requirement for their life, for your life. Don't let anyone take away your peace. Nobody deserves your peace. You are not a slave to them. Your emotions, you are nobody's slave to anyone's emotions, okay? All right. I know that was a lot, but I was on one today and yesterday. What's on my bed? Oh, that's my pillowcase. I was like, what is that? Um, You're loved. You are so loved. You are so freaking divinely guided and so perfectly made just as you are. You don't need all that extra crap to make you better. You're great just the way you are. Do you want to improve? Sure. We all want to improve. We all want to get better. I believe in you. I encourage you to be better, but that worldly view that you need more to be better, you need to look a certain way, you need to get a certain thing, you need all this. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't need that outfit from Shein. You don't need that outfit from Target, preaching to the choir. You don't need that to be confident. You don't need that to be happy. You don't need that to have peace. You Peace, happiness, and everything is inside of you, and that's just it. You don't need that boy to text you back. You don't need that girl to text you back. You don't need that person to give you that validation. Your validation comes from you and your creator and that's it. Is it nice to have that validation? Hell yeah, it is. But guess what? It's not always going to come. So when it doesn't come, are you going to cry about it? I'm preaching to myself right now too. I've been going through some crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. But I prayed for change. I prayed for opportunity. I prayed for all these things. And this is just God saying, okay, 
Let's rip up what you got going on out there and let's plant some new stuff. Is that what's going on in your life right now? I wonder if that's what it is. And if you're in a season of peace right now, go you keep that peace. And pats on the back for being here and pats on the back for understanding and knowing that peace is an absolute requirement of your life. Anyways, I'm going to go before it cuts me off. I love you guys. You are so freaking loved.